You've seen how SwiftUI lets us create implicit animations by attaching the animation modifier to a view, and how it also lets us create animated binding changes by adding the animation modifier to a binding. But there's a third useful way we can create animations. Explicitly asking SwiftUI to animate changes occurring as a result of a state change. This still doesn't mean we create each frame of the animation by hand. That remains SwiftUI's job, and it continues to figure out the animation by looking at the state of our views before and after the state change was applied. Now though, we're being explicit that we want an animation to occur when some arbitrary state change occurs. It's not attached to a binding, and it's not attached to a view. It's just us explicitly asking for a particular animation to occur because of a state change. To demonstrate this, let's return to a simple button example again. Button, tap me, do nothing, padding 50, background color dot red, foreground color dot white, clip shape circle. When that button is tapped, we're going to make it spin around with a 3D effect. This requires another new modifier, rotation 3D effect, which can be given a rotation amount in degrees, as well as an axis that determines how the view rotates. Think of this axis like a skewer through your view. If we skewer the view through the X axis, horizontally, then it'll be able to spin forwards and backwards. If we skewer the view through the Y axis, vertically, then it'll be able to spin left and right. If we skewer the view through the Z axis, or Z axis, depth, then it'll be able to rotate left and right. Making this work requires some state we can modify, and rotation degrees are specified as a double. So please add this property now. At state, private var, animation amount, equals 0.0. .0. Next we're going to ask the button to rotate by animation amount degrees along its Y axis, which means it will spin left and right. Add this modifier to the button now. Dot rotation 3D effect, dot degrees, animation amount, axis, X0, Y1, Z0. Now for the important part. We're going to add some code to the button's action so it adds 360 to animation amount every time it's tapped. So a full circle. If we write self to animation amount plus equals 360, then the change will happen immediately because there's no animation modifier attached to the button. This is where explicit animations come in. If we use a with animation closure, then SwiftUI will ensure any changes resulting from the new state will automatically be animated. So put this in the button's action now. With animation, self dot animation amount plus equals 360. Run that code now, and I think you'll be impressed by how good it looks. Every time you tap the button, it spins around in 3D space, and it was so easy to write. If you have time, try out the axes so you can really understand how they work. You can use more than one axis at once. With animation, can be given an animation parameter using all the same animations you use elsewhere in SwiftUI. For example, we could make our rotation effect use a spring animation using a with animation call like this. With animation, dot interpolating spring, stiffness five, damping one. 